And if you notice, like you see these scars right here? Mm -hmm. This is how it was treated. So right here, I had a big ass port that was under the skin. So whenever it was time to give me the chemotherapy or whatever, they would plug it in, latch it on, whatever. And that's how I would get it. Y'all can see my skin up under this mess. It's clear. <laughs> So we're gonna leave y'all here. We just wanted to give y'all a, a nice video. YouTube, we are back. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the Gay Safe Space with. Um, um <clears throat> I was performing, but Kerry <laughs> and Pierre. So yo, what's up? What's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel. You know, we did miss y'all. We did miss like giving y'all some stuff, as y'all saw. Last week we left y'all with a cliffhanger. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna make up for it this week, right? Cool, as y'all could see, the man, the he, I'm standing <laughs> nice and tall. Nice and tall. And <laughs> I'm gonna get into it. So, to kick this off, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, share this video, or any yes. video on the page with a friend. All go details. catch up, go catch up, because baby, <laughs> it's lit over here. <laughs> and you gotta go just see what you missed because a lot. Go get your life. Right, and when you come back, we'll come back again. So, my husband here. What? 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 Be my husband here, what? Oh, child, go ahead. No, go no, ahead. no, I'm listening. It's gonna take it over. Oh, that's what you're gonna say? <laughs> All we're doing today in here is we're gonna give y'all a little, you know, just our day. That's what today is gonna be. It's just our, you know, um, our y'all getting a nice little update. We <laughs> in the know, house this is because a nice update. we in the house because baby, right. I'm not about to be running around town because yes, I'm standing and I'm whatever, but no, I'm in the bed. It's still okay. in the healing process. So. But we gonna get into that a little later. Right. But yeah, so we just That's living our little life today. We are gonna give y'all a little day vlog, and we're gonna just talk about what's been going on in our life so and what's been going on in the world and while we do that we're going to do some face masks <laughs> it's been a while since we gave y'all a little mask and y'all i don't know these this the camera be fucking us up sometimes but my skin is skinning right now so i don't know if the camera's doing it justice <laughs> but you don't have confidence in your skin, child? I do. But you know, sometimes the camera with the wrong angle is going to show a whole bunch of lines. And I'll be like, bitch, where them lines come from? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, some of the, depending on the lighting, can really change your look. All right, so let's see. But I say that to say the skin. It's actually skinny, y'all. The skin. Let's see. So let's see. Well, this is good. Do you agree? Start up here. 
Your skin is skinning big. Good job. You did the really. I mean, he take care of his skin better than I do. Child, I had to get on so, it though. And here goes the mask, y'all. Yeah, so this one is yellow. Um, it always be a surprise sometimes. Ooh, when you this actually it. feels really good. Yeah. It's uh, I can feel like eucalyptus or something in it. Mm-hmm. I gotta spread this out. I'm putting it on like cake. <laughs> so, going back to you know us going to the hospital and all that, y'all. We had our fitness event. KJ wasn't there. I had to, you know, right, he did his hold it down. Fitness event <laughs> all by himself. All by myself. Be. <laughs> but I did my ting child. He did his big one, y'all. I did my big he one. He showed up, he showed out. I was. I asked them, how did I do at the end? And it's like, you did great. You did your thing. Yeah, I sure did. Ask Are you them. asked them? Yeah, I was like, how do y'all? <laughs> I did okay. They was like, you did great. It was good. Yeah, I'm fine. I was like, oh, no. I was a little, my anxiety was going a little bit. But I told them all that? Yeah. What oh, child. I don't mind. Be I'm a person. Child. I'm a person at the end of the day. He be and sharing, child. I bet you would never know, bitch. I am the boss, okay? Really? No, you're gonna see, this is a, a Virgo team, because I knew I did a great job. <laughs> well, why do I need feedback? Because feedback is great. We know we do great jobs, but don't we give, the people give us feedback every day at the event? I mean, true. So exactly, but you know you did your big one. But they're gonna give it to you anyway, so I have to ask them how you did. Because, oh, I like positive reinforcement and hearing it come out of their mouth actually made me feel good. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I'll be it solicited, but you know. Mm -hmm. did a big one, all the girls texted me and they said, oh my God, child. Get well soon, but we had a great event without you. Kudos. <laughs> So uh, like, how I'm, did... I'm playing. They did message me and say, you know, they missed my presence, get well soon, you know, and all that stuff. So that's how it goes. <clears throat> I think this mask is good. I don't think I have much left in here. But going back to, the, you know, the hospital visit and all that, babe. So how, tell the girls, how did this all get started? So y'all, <clears throat> picture this. Florida, 2017. <laughs> but that's crazy because the Golden Girls was recorded in Florida. Remember she always be said, picture the Sicily, 1922, or oh, something sure. like that. You probably never, did you watch Golden Girls? No, my mom did watch Golden Girls. Oh, that's a good show. It was so long ago, I really don't remember, like... Golden Girls was it? I really don't remember what happened. Like, I never watched it on my own. Okay. So I don't know. I just know it was a whole bunch of old white ladies. Yeah, they were like old retired ladies that moved to Florida. And they made Blanche, I think that was one of their names. Rose, Dorothy, <laughs> and then the mom was, um, fuck, I forget the mom name. Anyway, so 2017, this pain that I got on last Friday was kind of this type of similar pain I was getting back then, right? Um, went to the doctor, didn't know what it was. I went to the ER a couple of times actually because it was so unbearable. There was really nothing I could have done on my own. <clears throat> Nevertheless, when they got it, whatever, at first they thought that I had sciatica. If y'all don't know what that is, go look it up. Mm -hmm. it starts with an S, it's S C I A T I A. Um, and uh, that's what they were treating. But the thing is, sciatica really doesn't have any cure. There's nothing they could give you because it's like the nerve that's affected, right? Um, and the body usually would, re would resolve itself within like four, six weeks, whatever. Typically, they, just, they give you painkillers, muscle relaxers, and uh, that's it. Go rest. So that happened. They treated that for like six, eight weeks, it wasn't getting better. Um, and I'm telling them this pain is getting worse, right? So, 
eventually they decided, okay, let's do some imaging and they did an MRI. Um, when they did that MRI is when they saw signs that there may be something else going on, right? So that came back, they sent me to see a specialist. I went to see the specialist and uh, well, actually it was our oncologist. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he was. I didn't know that at the time. All right. Nevertheless, <clears throat> went to see him and he literally admitted me to the hospital that same day. That was crazy. Um, I spent a month, just a little over four weeks in the hospital at that time. Crazy time. I can't imagine being in a hospital. There was a lot of biopsies, there was a lot of tests, there was a lot of pain, right? Um, but I was well taken care of, I'll tell you that. Um, so that happened, and then it was during that hospital visit is when they diagnosed me with cancer. It was non-Hodgkin non lymphoma. Um, and it's crazy that I didn't even know that cancer was like a thing in my family that this was hereditary because as black families these are things that people don't talk about they really don't they don't talk about shit i didn't know my grandmother had cancer until after she passed i didn't know she had it i didn't know there was cousins and there was aunts and there was people who like suffer this shit because they don't talk about it all right um <clears throat> so that being said that was the diagnosis. I started chemotherapy immediately. Um, did that. It went away, came back. I did radiation and more chemotherapy. And the second round of chemotherapy was actually kind of crazy. And these are not things I've actually even spoken about before, right. <laughs> to be honest. No, I'm not. So the first round of chemotherapy, it was just like me going like once every three weeks, right? And get a treatment and then I, I just have to go home and recover. It took like a week to recover from those chemicals and those drugs. And then after that, I'd be okay for two weeks. I go back for the next round and the cycle kept on for six cycles, right? Okay, cool. <clears throat> that was done. Um, when it came back, they changed the treatment. All right, and this time, I was actually in the hospital for a week. All right, because two of the drugs that they gave me actually had to be hooked up to it for 24 hours. And if you notice, like, I see these scars right here? This is how it was treated. So right here, I had a big ass port that was under the skin. So whenever it was time to give me the chemotherapy or whatever, they would plug it in, latch it on, whatever. And that's how I would get it, right? So that happened. The second time around though was when it actually went in remission. After those rounds of chemotherapy, that shit was gone. And it did not come back, right? So that was good. I skipped a step. I skipped a step because when it came back this the first time before I did chemotherapy, I did radiation. I did 25 rounds of radiation because yeah, that's what had happened. And then it still didn't really get rid of it and then they gave me chemotherapy again. Yeah, so that's, that's how that went. And I mean, yeah, it was what it was. I went through it. Um, how long do you feel like you was like in the hospital? The entire... Oh, what do you mean? Like the whole time before, from like when you were, when they put you in the hospital for however many like months. Like all together? Yeah, all together. Uh, maybe, actually it was a long time. Maybe like five months, give or take. Because even when, even beyond that, like after the chemotherapy thing happened again, and that was gone, I went back to my life. That's when also the fractures I have, I had then, that's when they, dis they discovered it. So I had a fracture on the base of my spine and I had a herniated disc as well, right below that. So that was that, which is literally what's acting up now, causing the pain now, 
right? Um, so I go see a specialist again next week to figure out exactly what we finna do about this. Because right. obviously it didn't heal like it was supposed to the last time. They said it did, but here we are. Right, but yeah, so that happened after that whole chemotherapy stuff, I went to remission. They figured the best bet to let it not return was for me to do a stem cell transplant. You all don't know what that is, <laughs> go look it up as well. Basically they harvested my cells, my blood cells, my T cells, they harvested them and they froze it, right? Then I went to the hospital again, I spent how many weeks in the hospital this time? It was like five weeks, something like that. Give or take. Um, I don't know how you do all that. <laughs> this is like, you are definitely <laughs> I get that to you so strong because my ass, I get sick. If I ever, when I, the times I've been in the hospital, it's the end of the world. And it definitely wasn't for cancer. So, so it's what just what like, you going to do? Like, but what do you do? No, do no you I'm do? just Can saying, I'm giving do. you, you, yeah, 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 yeah. just do that. I have to go through it. You so. know, you, you definitely remain positive through that whole experience. Even like, because we fact. got together right after. The like, stem cell trans yeah, trans trans right trans after. So like all the friends that he has, they tell me all the time, like how positive and you know how when they would come see you, how you 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 always stay positive. Yeah, so was, that's, 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 but my friends were there that's, though. That's, my friends all came. Shout out to see y'all all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like every day, I had company in the hospital. Period. <laughs> so, they we look um, like the dude off of Beyonce or something. We do, but he he has blue body. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how long it. Okay, two minutes. Yeah, but that being said, um, so that happened. The stem cell transplant. When I You're went in, so we both. What they did is that they gave me like Air chemotherapy God. again for an entire week, and then the last day, the drug that they give you literally destroys the immune system, right? Because they said that my your immune system was damaged with all the cancer, the chemotherapy, the everything. So they destroyed that and then they took the harvested frozen stem cells that they already would have done. That, that process was ridiculous. I learned so much shit about my body and the body on a whole and how shit worked that you did not know. Even when I went for them to harvest my stem cells, like the machine, the technology, that shit was mind blowing. Right? But anyway, so that happened. Um, they took the harvested stem cells, they defrosted it and they put it back in my body, right? And then it took like three weeks or so. Yeah, it took about three weeks after that for the immune system to really be rebuilt and start showing like the strength that it needed it to show in order for me to be released. And that really was the last major thing I did. And again, I've been in remission since um, 2018, October. So I do celebrate yeah, yeah. every year. <laughs> I do celebrate my anniversary. And then as well as what they said, like because of the stem cell transplant, I have a second birthday to celebrate, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is the day that they actually would have put it back in my body and stuff. So the second birthday is actually February 9th. Um, so that is also my second birthday. But yeah, it was the whole thing. I mean, I did do stem cell transplant at the University of Miami. Um, their comprehensive cancer so they, they were amazing. I had a Greek doctor, knowledgeable as hell. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was good. It was actually good. It wasn't the worst experience, although it was a tough experience. I was well taken care of. So I really did not suffer that much. Like, you know, the biggest part was really just the pain. My pain management shit was crazy. Because again, when they caught the cancer, it was already in my bones and everything. So it was tough. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, so that's the story. So hey, for Here anybody who has cancer out there, like what are, what are some pieces of advice you could give to them that may be watching? Or a family member that has cancer? It's just like, what is what are some words of encouragement you can give? I always... That's what I mean. <laughs> I think one of the things that helped me the most 
almost dealing with it and even staying positive and everything. Like if you even met the people who like treated me, they were like, damn, you always like, I like when I was speaking in the room, I was playing my music, I was, I was vibing. Like I made the hospital comfortable, right? So I could actually survive it. Um, but as well as I always look forward to the after. And I think that's one of the main things that kept me going, knowing that this too was going to pass. And, you know, this was just a phase I had to deal with, but it's going to get better and I'm going to look back at it as a memory. Right, I think that was the biggest thing for me. While I was there still being treated and dealing with it, I was planning my life after it. I was planning what I was gonna do, like what type of job I was gonna have, what kind of car I wanted to drive. <laughs> that is what I was doing to keep myself going and I think it worked out well. Period. Right, so He's a survivor. But yeah, so now with a badge. <laughs> Not something I'm, I mean, I'm proud of it, but it's not something I wanted to have to wear. But hey, as they say, God give his strongest battles to his. I don't know what he's saying. Toughest soldiers. Oh, they're not doing that for his. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hands up, don't shoot, child. Hands up, don't shoot. Anyway, y'all, so enough of that heavy shit. We did it. Here I am. Alive on up, right? So, we need to move on with our day. Um, we need to get these masks off first. We need to, like, go get breakfast. Um, and then we gotta, like, go do some shopping and stuff. So, we'll take you out with us. Costco. And, um, yeah. Right. Just, oh, it's gonna be a hard we'll This around. might just be the vlog right there. <laughs> so, we will see y'all <laughs> soon. All right, we gonna wash these off, y'all. Y'all can see. Peace. Hold on. I want them to. Y'all yeah. see. Just uh, scoot back. You know how that be looking. Oh, no. It's going to look good. Y'all can see my skin up under this mask. It's it's clear. <laughs> Get it, guys, man. Oh, child. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So yeah, y'all, we are going to wash these off, so we and then again. we will let y'all see how clear. It's a it's a face mask, babe. You gotta give them the finished product. Yeah, but well, they're gonna see us washing it off. They're equivalent to them washing us off too. No, I get that. <laughs> Trust me, man. You, this is this is not our first time doing this. <laughs> so can you trust me enough to know that it's gonna look right? <laughs> Anywho. So, we're going to wash these off. We'll see y'all in a second. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all. So, I've been learning Spanish. So, I've been butchering, like, the pronunciation. I've been butchering, like, the pronunciation. But, I've been excited about learning because I'm like, damn, I need to learn... I want to be like, you know, a little bit more proficient, at least conversational Spanish. Thanks me when you need other countries. So, the one Spanish phrase I would say for y'all, and I hope Pierre would like type it in, but if he doesn't, try to listen to pronunciation and go look it up if you don't know what I mean. Right? But the Spanish is Telo Agladesco. Hello, Agladesco. Alright, so from Pierre and I, hello, Agladesco. <laughs> right? And that's time I was so excited to learn because I'm like, damn, I really want to learn that and be able to tell people. You know? So, I've learned a lot of little phrases so far. Like, telacomeste, no joda. <laughs> no, the only no, 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 The only thing I know <laughs> when it comes to like Spanish is y'all used to work at McDonald's way back oh. in the day and it would be like, Caete Peter, mucho hablas Peter, muevete Peter. And my name is Pierre, so oh, they, would, they couldn't yeah. say Pierre, so they'd be saying, that'd be the cooks in, yeah. Oh. Way back in the day, y'all. Uh, 
Shout outs to Maria. Shout out to Maria. I don't know nothing about you. No, she know. She see my stuff on Facebook. Is Maria watching the channel? I don't know if she watch the channel, but she be commenting, be, be liking the stuff. I think I was that his name. Maria. Maria. Sorry, we're not even remember. No, but we friends on Facebook. She be she be liking my stuff. She be seeing it. I feel. I Remember that news clip where <laughs> the lady was reporting the news? All right, the, the lady, lady was reporting the news, news, and then somebody came up and hit her. And then the man was like, I know, smell. <laughs> the, they cut oh, back yeah. to the, to the, like, the news desk. He was like, I know, smell. Uh, back to the, no, 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 and then he just started talking about something else. <laughs> the way he said, I know, smell. I know, smell. <laughs> yeah, I don't like quizás, quizás mean maybe. Cause I told them I need conversational stuff, so that's what they've been teaching me. Right, um, vamos para la cocina. I never go back to Georgia. Huh? If you know, you know. That's not what I said. I said vamos para la cocina. I know, I just ran to the start singing that song. We remember Crooklyn, mm -hmm. y'all, put in the comments if you know about Crooklyn. I put Bay on there. That's one thing I actually like about having a husband that's from a different country because it gives me the chance to rewatch all the movies that I love, all the classics, and Crooklyn is definitely a classic. So if you haven't watched it, look it up. It's, it's a good one. Okay. So I didn't want to go back movie. to Georgia. But a lot of the black classic movies, I watch them and I, I enjoy them. A lot of classic movies, period. Like, and we be watching stuff that we watch one time when sometimes we were both kids. Right. And it be like a whole different <laughs> perspective watching the same movie as an adult. It'd be crazy. That should be wild. Okay, y'all. So. Ta da! <laughs> y'all see the material? Material and cereals. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the material? <laughs> we are, our faces have been We need to get some vitamin, We need to get some like <laughs> vitamin C serum. So now we could like put some dots. Yeah, it's too bad for We really do need to do a, a, a face routine. I'm gonna get it together, y'all. I'm gonna I'm, I'm work on it. I'm gonna work on it. Bro, body is getting shot. I mean, go ahead and flex, uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Renaissance? I'll make another comment. Mm -mm. Ow. Ow. I'm about to pick <laughs> That was the last week. That, that was, was all right. Week. But yeah, y'all, so now that we have our faces taken care of, um, um, we got yeah, shit to do today. We got shit to do. We got to go to Costco. We need another speaker for our event. We have our fitness event. Oh, yeah, we got to talk to them about that. The fitness event. And we have Pride Fit coming on. Yeah, yeah. Pride Fit. We're going to talk about yeah. it as we go. So. Okay, we'll talk to you in a few seconds. We saw. So. We are at uh, we running some errands. We at Costco. Yep. <laughs> um, we actually need a speaker so for our fitness no, event, no, no, maybe some other things. Yep. But yeah, y'all, we're very excited about next week because next weekend is our fitness event. August, we have what is the pride thing we got again, man? Pride Fest on August 10th. Pride Fest, yes. Um, before that, we have a pretty safe collaboration with Care For You. 
On the same day, y'all. Uh, in Miami. Yes. Right. Well, one's in Miami, one's in Fort Lauderdale. Yes, yeah, so the one in Miami is in the morning and the one in Fort Lauderdale. But well, early afternoon, late afternoon. All right. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a busy day. But yeah, so we're at Costco to get a few things. We will see y'all in the inside. Yep, and it has more watts than the one we had before. Well, we still have the other one. Yeah, but it's the just the battery died. Down. So we use it so much in the fitness <laughs> event. Like right, the beach. the beach. We're always chugging it around. We bring it to our friends' houses. Right, for house parties. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's because money well spent. Money well spent. Watch out of it. <laughs> Until it's just done, like, just give up. But yeah, so. We might, we're just trying to figure out what we're going to do tonight. We might just get us, go to a bar, grab a little, you know, drinky on us. But we're going to leave y'all here. We just wanted to give y'all a, a nice video. Y'all make sure. Free advertisement <laughs> for Costco. Look at them in the back. Right. Bitch. I'm going to flip oh. this video and send it to them until they need it to go and come for me. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead. But yeah, y'all, it's been real. We will see y'all next week. Don't forget if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, Anything else, man? He turned another one. Alright, that's it. We'll see y'all later. See y'all later. Peace out.